How do you do? Oh, Tom, before we start this week's podcast, you know what this week is, right? Ooh, is it Halloween? I love Halloween. No, it's it's not Halloween. Uh, is this the week we're appearing on Dino Stamatopoulos? No, that's that's on Halloween. Oh, yeah, right, right. No, this week is our anniversary. What? Yep. It's been one year since we started this podcast. Oh, right. So it is. So, yeah, I thought we should celebrate. So I uh, came up with a list of things we could do to, you know, commemorate the occasion. Okay. Okay. First, flowers. Flowers. Yeah, flowers with a special note. I mean, I guess. I have more here. Well, yeah, let's hear the next one. Uh, The next one is dinner at our favorite restaurant. Well, I suppose we could do that. Third, I thought maybe we could uh, look through old photo albums. Huh. Okay, so you came up with uh, this list, like, off the top of your head? Yep. Really? Well, okay. I did Google first anniversary, but I have to say, a lot of the stuff was uh, really not appropriate, in my opinion. I bet. Okay, the next one is create a new treasured memento of your anniversary by booking a couple's photo session with a local photographer. Uh-huh. I think that, I think that would be nice. All right. Uh, is that the end of the list? Uh, no, no. There's one more. And what is that? Record a podcast for minute 53. I like that one. Do we want to start with a special thanks to our listeners for hanging with us for the first year? Yeah, that sounds great. I mean, that or we could look through old photo albums. What old photo albums are you even talking about? Fine. Let's just forget it. Good idea. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Take it away, Mr. Van Sloan. How do you do? We're about to unfold the story of Frankenstein. He's one of the strangest tales ever told. I think it will thrill you. It may shock you might even horrify you. Well, we've warned you. You've been warned. Welcome back to Frankenstein Minute, the podcast where we dissect the Universal Frankenstein films minute by minute. I'm Bill Evenson. And I'm Tom Lang, and we are now at minute 53 of Universal's 1931 Frankenstein. Elizabeth, it's it's Henry and Elizabeth's wedding day, and Elizabeth has something on her mind. Mm-hmm. and has broken a serious social taboo by seeing the groom prior to the wedding. That's right. And the bridesmaids look back uh, with concern they look one by put one out, yeah. as they go out the door. Did you do you, yeah. did you look up who all these actresses are? I had it one time I didn't write <laughs> Is that it. Right? Did you? Yeah. No, no. We know who I, I do. Played they, them all. There are yeah. IMDb probably has some inaccurate stuff. Yeah, Michael yeah, Mark the, is probably <laughs> listed as one of them and uh, <laughs> he's listed as one of the <laughs> bridesmaids. bridesmaids yeah. Well, he was li- somebody listed. Yeah, I don't remember. Oh yeah, no, if you found it on the IMDb, I there you go. Double double check. Tweet us. Oh yeah, no, I I did. It must have been. Was it in one of Manx's books or? Okay. Listed at least some of them. Okay. Anybody of any significance? Not, not Probably not. Early. That's why I didn't remember, and so I didn't bother. They're like extras. That They're, yeah, dress had to extras. walk from there to yeah. there. They look back with concern. They seem concerned. concerned. And they, and a couple of them look really put out, like pissed off. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. Well, I think it's it's uh, okay. So as we noted last week, these are her friends. These yeah. are mo- most likely Elizabeth's I friends. I think so. And they probably I suppose I would hope that they might have. Um, what's the word I want to use here? They might they might be concerned. I yeah, guess about. Yeah, they have about, her best interest in mind. And this guy. Yeah. What is this guy? This up guy to? who's gonna t- whisk her away to a uh, you know an abandoned old watch. Tower guy on who's the been outskirts. missing for four months without a word. <laughs> yeah, and we don't even know how long prior to that. Yeah, yeah, he's. he's, he's I don't he's, know if he's, he's right he's, for he's her. A little shady. Plus I don't know. I think she can do better. Yeah. Have you seen that other guy? I think he's the best <laughs> man. He's going to become an oil magnate someday. So <laughs> probably. You know. That seems right. No, he that did. That seems right. Yeah, that's what happened to John Bowles. To John Bowles, but not to not Victor. To Victor. Victor's a. He lives in Goldstadt. Yeah. No, no a, oil. 
podiatrist or something. Yeah, <laughs> he's a podiatrist. <laughs> yeah, because in a in a country that spends that much time on schuplotler, you know, <laughs> you can have feet are, problems. Feet are important. Exactly. Very important. <laughs> this is my point. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's what he named are, his store. You know, shoes are wooden. Shoe so. Oh my God! Can you imagine, imagine? Those, those clogs? Uh, the worst. Yeah. My, um, I have my shoe plotler shoes. <laughs> I'm ready to go. One thing I noticed uh, when I first watched the Blu-ray of this years a couple years back that I hadn't noticed before is I always just, had always assumed that out the window in the back was just like a backdrop, but it's actually a rear projection of a lake that's overlooking the. I huh. assume it's the lake that they were sitting at with the dogs uh, 20 minutes okay. ago or whatever it was. And there's like every trees reason blowing. to think could still be the same lake. Yeah, that, uh, yeah I think that, it, that, that that little Maria Maria is currently drowning in. Yes, because <laughs> we'll. we'll see in a few minutes that it, it must have a close proximity i see what you mean that's right no, no spoilers no for anybody spoilers. who hasn't, seen, hasn't the seen the upcoming film, minutes i'm not gonna say anymore but <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i suppose that makes sense that, that's, that's my story well from that um it, you would you would expect it to have the close proximity for yeah. sure yeah you would expect all of this all is of in this somewhat is, yeah. close proximity yeah. although you know again we got to worry about that issue with him taking off for four months and her not being able to just walk, walk to where he there. is yeah. i don't know anyway, that's all right all right <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so Henry is almost okay. He's not dismissive. That's not the right word. But the what the words he uses are almost dismissive. Uh, he, you know, like but, but what are you worried? What what are you worried about? You know, what's yeah, the big deal? Yeah. It reminds me in a way of uh, Son of Frankenstein, where um, <laughs> what's what's Rathbone's um, wolf. character? Where Wolf is? Yeah. Oh, silly. Yeah. Except in that case, of course, it, it's the opposite yeah. connotation. He yeah. knows that she has a lot that she should be worried about. Right. She's on to him. Yeah. And that should be the case here, yes. in my well, that, opinion. Well, that was one of my notes, is that, oh, it's just nerves and all the preparation. Yeah, what what happened to be... possibly be worried about? Yeah, what happened to be that guy mm -hmm. that you, you restored life to? No mention of the monster. Nothing. Because at this point, he assumes Waldman has taken care of it. Yes, agreed. It's done. It's that's yeah, all done. It is strange though because Elizabeth was there. Yes, she was. Which she wasn't in every version of the script. No. So it leads me to think maybe it, that, or at least I guess I think it would work better if she hadn't been. Right. This, she just this, has some vague. Yeah, yeah. She has some vague misgivings. I, or, I, I'm uh, tempted to say at this time period, women's intuition or something. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? That's kind of the way it's presented. Maybe like maybe she's uh, some yeah, some sort of what was the word you just used? Um, Misgivings, uh, yeah, sort of, some sort of a, yeah, just, yeah. She has a premonition. Yeah, that's there, what there, it is. there, there you okay, go. There yeah. You go. So yeah, no mention of the monster. Uh, yeah. You know, Baldwin's always late. You know, that's just kind of seems to come out of nowhere. But if he, so again, well. If he was playing it like Wolf, that would work too. Like, uh, uh, he's, he's always late. Because yeah, yeah. in the back of his mind, he's going, Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit, man. Oh, yeah. Shit. Where is he? <laughs> yeah. No, I think at this point, Henry is still, he's convinced it's all done. He, every indication it, that it, that's it, what's it's going it's on. It's done. Waldman took yeah. care of it. And I, I think it, it, him saying, Oh, he's always late gives him. Uh, there's an air of familiarity like that maybe they did yeah, have a relationship beyond true. pupil and student that's true i do like that it, it gives that yeah involvement hung around for a few days at the watchtower after all this took place mm -hmm. he had no you know investment in in staying there mm -hmm. and it cost him his life yeah so i think there is some fondness between the two of them mm -hmm. he knew fritz well, that's true <laughs> god knows <laughs> how but yeah yeah, so it's all the excitement and preparation that's that's making uh, Elizabeth uh, trepidatious. Which I there you go. You that's gotta a think good word. There's, there you go. There's there's a there's got to be something to that. I mean, this isn't even the ordinary excitement of uh, 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 preparation no. of any wedding. This no. this is like a royal wedding. This yeah, is yeah. This is a this big is deal. A big this deal. is like the social event. This is more village. than just a few bottles of beer. Right. Yeah. And and she plays this scene, I think, really well. Mm -hmm. It's a difficult dialogue to deliver, and we'll find out in the sequel that it's not always delivered successfully. That's right. Uh, she does it, I think, much more grounded and, and far less hysterically than Valerie Hobson does in the sequel. Yeah, and... It, and where that almost comes off as comical. Yes, I agree with and that. And not intentionally. Right. One of the few things in the film that's not supposed to be funny. Definitely, although... 
yeah well we'll talk about that too right, uh, yeah. in a year's time or whatever right, it is but, but um, um it's, it's a very similar speech that she has yeah there's a lot to it that is similar but yeah. it's also well so, she, so she's kind of all over the place because she says uh no, nothing's wrong it's just a mood which i think is great because i think that's kind of what young people say nowadays on the internet it's a, a mood something is a mood oh, is that right? i don't I, I think there's a me that's a meme is or it, something i don't oh, know yeah, yeah don't so know. These, it's just these a kids mood with their ipod cast that's and their those are the ones MTV i'm talking video about video games and yeah exactly those are the ones yeah yeah bring bring back vhs i say <laughs> um but she's kind of all over all over the place because she she's is. well nothing's wrong like i just went to go get you and drag you across the <laughs> yeah. hallway so <laughs> i can tell you well nothing's wrong like, yeah, it's all, it's all although good. i guess you know you can sort of see maybe she's sizing him up to see how he'll react uh and then she's, and she's he, reacts he reacts with reacts everything's totally calm, fine so so maybe it was just me it was no me. big deal yeah although maybe it's a big deal so <laughs> she kind of has to pl- she, it, it's a hard it's a hard thing to try to pull off yeah and, it's, yeah it's valerie a hard, hobson's it's a hard not thing up to, to convey it. yeah 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 valerie hobson does not yeah. pull it off Nira. Nira. <laughs> that I noticed people laughed at in yeah. the theater with, yeah. with good reason. Yeah, with good reason. Uh, I think May Clark is, it has the gravitas here that mm-hmm. it's required. She still appears to be acting, but mm-hmm. like I said, it's a difficult. Oh, it isn't great. Yeah, we should. No, 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 we, 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 we've been comparing it to Valerie Hobson. This scene isn't great, and her performance isn't great, but it's way better. It's much better. Yeah. It's it's a difficult yeah, she thing pulls to it pull off. off. I yeah. think an analog that I can think of off the top of my head there's a film called the heart is a lonely hunter okay um uh, alan arkin is a deaf man who kind of finds his way into the, uh, it's sandra Locke, uh who okay. just passed away mm-hmm. a few months ago uh when we're recording this 18 months ago yeah yeah <laughs> whatever um, that was but she has this scene over his grave weeping and it had to have been extremely difficult to do mm-hmm. and it, it often reminds me of this and that these are hard emotions to convey yeah. with a few words in your face yep. and especially in the 30s you didn't get that you know you, you get more of that histrionic sort of acting style definitely uh, but she's very grounded here mm-hmm. um, and she did you know maybe you know maybe it maybe whale likes it better the other way right so you you kind of look at well, bride I think, I think he does because because bride is sort of his his signature film it's like a remake in a way i'm going to do yeah. it right this time i'm right, going to redo right. the yeah, parts i yeah. whatever i mean it, we'll have a lot to say about that yeah. movie i guess and i could i could almost see his point well no i guess i can, i could see the point if if that's his point <laughs> which is when you watch this movie this scene doesn't stand out as something that's helping you to feel helping the viewer to feel trepidatious trepidatious you don't this isn't bringing you anywhere it's more like there's just some people talking and pretty soon we'll get to see the monster again <laughs> <laughs> well certainly when i was seven that's how yeah I felt. that's but, true but i i mean i think and it's... henry's acting like a, a idiot right he's <laughs> yeah. he seems to have completely forgotten you this forgot is a monster that, movie yeah <laughs> <laughs> forgot that the previous 50 minutes even happened yeah and when I say it's interesting that I said he, he's forgotten it's a monster movie because there's yeah. never been a monster movie. No, this. Yeah. So he doesn't know he's in a monster movie. I guess that's maybe that's part of the thing uh, that's odd about talking about these older films is yeah, they don't this, know they're this, making they, monster they movies yet because no one's ever done one before. This is probably the first time that they like let's make a horror film. Mm-hmm. Like, the term wasn't used yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dracula was a dra- mystery. mystery. They called it a mystery. The greatest romance and a or romance. the weirdest romance or whatever. If if yeah, that's why you always find it under romance romance mystery yeah in the you, shelves. The video story yeah like if there's shelves yeah. i guess there aren't any not, shelves not so much anymore netflix when you look it up on netflix, netflix look at a romance and romance dracula. is dracula's first one first one that pops up <laughs> <laughs> now i completely forgot my train of thought no nah, it's all right uh, it's a something, meandering something pithy mess. to say that i oh but the, the fact yeah he's not behaving like he's in a horror film but i think this film is much more stark and much i, I hate to use the term realistic Mm-hmm. Than Bride. Bride is very heightened, very operatic, mm-hmm. very florid. So compare the two scenes and the two the two speeches. They fit in the films that they're in. Mm-hmm. Valerie Hobson going over the top here would have stuck out even more. Definitely. I mean, she's got a, a soundtrack that's helping her out. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, they're uh, yeah. playing it up. Franz Voxman is is cranking it to eleven. In yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. In this case, it's two it's people just, in a room. Yeah. And one of them doesn't seem to give a shit. I shouldn't. <laughs> you know, he seems concerned for her. He He's seems con- genuinely, genuinely concerned, concerned, concerned for, for her. her. Once again, Henry is great with Elizabeth, despite uh, everything we know about him and the way he's treated <laughs> right. her over the yeah. last few right. months. <laughs> no, I think it's it's clear that he really loves her and really cares yeah. for her. Yeah. 
Yeah, but um, he doesn't seem to remember that. He yeah, he's that put there's it out a, of his that mind that Waldman is dissecting a monster. That like he, he doesn't even remember it. The topic comes up. The subject is raised, and he doesn't remember that that's what he's doing. Yeah. And, you know what I mean? He doesn't... Yeah. Well, that's, oh, yeah. Yeah, he's late. Uh, it's he's, always late. He's probably he's dissecting the, monsters that, or some that, shit. That guy that I made? Yeah, yeah you remember that. You yeah, remember. You were there. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. Were you there? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, let's go get married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not a biggie. No, no. biggie. Uh, and this is a key moment in the novel. Okay. When the monster, creature, demon, whatever, never has a name, finds Victor, mm-hmm. relates his story of this is what's happened to me for the past year and a half while you when you you know abandoned me mm-hmm. in your in your laboratory and, and ran off this is this is my life this is how it sucked you need to make this right you make me a mate someone that i you know that's all i want i just mm-hmm. want someone to talk to just demands a mate Demand, the monster, the monster demands, demands a mate, a mate. So victor complies he takes about a year and a half again to, to finally stop dragging his feet he's about halfway through the process and he's like no i i can't do this i can't do this to humanity what if they don't comply and disappear off somewhere just the two of them what if she's worse than he is Mm -hmm. what if you know they breed which that doesn't make a whole lot of sense because all that you would get is the sum total of whatever biological parts were their reproductive organs you would not get another creature like you you know oh that's interesting you're saying because the reproductive organs were taken from From someone else else, they wouldn't they wouldn't end up being monsters i'm gonna lean towards mary on this one because uh you mentioned uh, the animal animal parts and all All kinds of shit all right a anyway. slinky in there who knows <laughs> what you get some ticker toys <laughs> um, so he, he tears uh. the, the female creature apart the monster's watching this mm. and he vows vengeance and he says i'll be with you on your wedding night victor is is so self-absorbed he thinks well he's going to kill me mm-hmm. on my wedding night well the target was elizabeth all along okay so this is sort of an analog to that we see much more of it obviously in the sequel but it is a key moment at henry's wedding yeah and and again more more baffling well maybe not baffling it's a choice it's clearly more evidence that a choice was made to make henry as clueless as he is yeah yeah. he's it's the opposite here he's just like what yeah everything's fine we're getting married i mean even honestly if uh as as you say we've both been married yes uh if if your bride-to-be was trepidatious on the wedding day you'd be a little bit more uh, like yeah, I get it. <laughs> this yeah. is a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of want to, yeah. kind of want to pull this one off. Yeah. yeah. He's like, ah, oh, silly. But then yeah. again, that's me imposing wolf on that situation. <laughs> that was Wolf's wedding day. Wolf's wedding. Yeah. Well, you know, we didn't get to see that. So I guess. We I actually, guess that's we the don't... thing about that's the thing about this Frankenstein is there's so many parts in it that I, in my mind, impose other. I put I put other scenes from later films into, into it. it. I keep yeah. putting Wolf saying, oh, silly, into it, <laughs> and uh, hey, Valerie. Hobson's performance into it. Right. We're, they're just going to remake this movie over and over, over and again. Over and over again, yeah. And we love it. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's why we're here, and I'm assuming that's why you're here. And that's why you're following us on whatever uh, silly thing you uh, follow us on. Support us on Patreon. Called. Support us on Patreon, yeah. There you you, get, you, you get, get stuff. You get stuff from us. There you go.